will be replacing my ABS cable sensor on my 2012 Dodge Ram 1500. Cables look, it's gonna be for the driver's side. The driver's side cable. Let's see if we can get a good look at it. Yep, that's it right there. The only reason it's damaged is because my little dog, where is he at? He, uh, he chewed on it and now every time I turn, turn the steering wheel, it sets off the, the little sensor and it notifies me that there's an ABS issue. Ordered this replacement part on eBay for about, I think it was about $20, $20. ABS light sensor that comes on. So we will be replacing that. Shouldn't be too bad. Have the wheels turned all the way to the right, which will allow me to have better, better view and access to the actual cable itself. You can see it just detaches right there. I tried to fix it at one point myself with just the electrical tape around it and then disconnect and connects right there. So let's go ahead and uh, get this thing swapped out. So it's gonna disconnect from there. Unclip it from here, unclip it from there, unclip it from there. Clip it from the other end. Right. We've got everything disconnected from uh, this angle. Now we're just gonna go ahead and remove the wheel. Disconnect it from right behind the, the rim. All right. Got the wheel off. Now we've got the caliper about to come off. We've got one bolt off. Now we're just gonna remove this one. I needed to use a breaker to bar, breaker bar to help me get these two off. That one, the other one was right there. That way we can slide this disc off. All right, so we've got three, these three bolts removed from the rear end on this side, which allowed me to slide the rotor off as you can see. This is the damage that was caused by, by Bernard, my Shih Tzu. And then uh, we just remove this plate off right here. So we really can uh, finally access the other end of this ABS sensor cable and uh, remove it from right here. It looks like it's got a Allen wrench right there that needs to break that thing loose right there. Here it is, that Allen, Allen wrench removes that screw. This thing just pops out. As you can see, there's a little O-ring on there. But that's the old one. Here's the new one. Again, we'll just slide that right in, pop that Allen wrench back in and uh, that screw and uh, go ahead and attach everything again. Right, we got the rotor back on. We've got these these bolts back in place, holding it in place, hand tight. I'm gonna just tighten it right now. Go ahead and tighten it with the socket. After that, we're gonna go ahead and attach the caliper back in place. Bolt it on right here. Like I said, here's the cable wire itself. 
just got to make sure when you place that uh, back plate on, this one right here, that the you have it with the side where the, the cable's going to thread through. Alright, right there. See, there's a slot in that plate right behind the rotor that the cable is going to free through. We're just going to go ahead and proceed. Everything is now back in place. Went ahead and came up. I even used the same clips that was on the truck. Went ahead and clamped them in place, connected everything on this other end right here, plugged it in place, snapped it in place. Um, calipers back on place pretty tight. Gonna go ahead and get the wheel on. Turn my wheels completely left, turn my wheels completely right, make sure nothing comes on, no, everything's clear. Here's the old one as you can see, but yeah, like I said, my little dog, where's he at? He was hanging out underneath the vehicle and I guess decided to, he wanted to chew on this. Um, yeah, so that was the reason for the replacement of this. Got about 96,000 miles on this truck. So, all right, let me pop this wheel back on place and uh, see see how it goes. On a scale of one to 10, the difficulty of the job. For me, I'm not an experienced mechanic, maybe. I don't know, maybe a six, five, eh, probably a five, halfway. Here's the culprit right here. Here's the one that chewed up my ABS line brake. They don't, they don't, he thinks it's funny. But um, tools needed for this wasn't too much. Uh, Allen wrench, three quarter socket, 13, 16 socket. Um, obviously the jack, jack stands. Um, you know, if your wheel's got a lock on it, make sure you got that with you. If not, you're gonna have a hard time trying to remove the thing. So let's go ahead. Uh, cable line's been put back in place. Let's go ahead and start this puppy up. Make sure everything's good. Let's see. My ABS light isn't on. Let's see, let's turn it all the way that way. It's turned all the way to the left. And we are good. No more ABS light. No more ABS light. We are good. How many miles we got on this? 97,000 miles, 97,000 miles. Maybe it's time to go uh, either sell it or see what, uh, see what uh, CarMax will give me for it. I know the market's pretty good right now for vehicles, but um, yeah, that was pretty much it though. I know you guys see a bunch of other shit right there, like a hammer and everything, all that wasn't even necessary. Like I said, just a couple sockets, Allen wrench. Um, said for someone that's not experienced like myself, the degree of difficulty was man, between one to 10, five, halfway. A few bolts that had to be removed without being uh, too knowledgeable or as mechanics go, it was pretty simple. So that's it. Hopefully this will help somebody else out if they come across having a, the same situation with their ABS line on a Dodge Ram 1500. Pretty simple, and that was on the front drive, uh, front driver's side wheel. So, uh, all right, thanks for watching.